Question 1. The primary purpose of an air brake system is to A. Cool the engine B. Provide power steering C. Convert air pressure into mechanical force to stop the vehicle Answer C. Convert air pressure into mechanical force to stop the vehicle Air brakes use compressed air to apply force to the brakes and stop the vehicle Question 2. True or false? Air brakes are more effective than hydraulic brakes in large, heavy vehicles. Answer. True. Air brakes provide the necessary force for stopping large, heavy vehicles safely. Question 3. The air compressor's role in an air brake system is to A. Release air from the system. B. Pump air into the air storage tanks. C. Control the speed of the vehicle. Answer. B. Pump air into the air storage tanks. The compressor ensures there's a steady supply of compressed air. Question 4. A safety valve is set to open at A. 150 PSI B. 200 PSI C. 125 PSI Answer. A. 150 PSI the safety valve releases air to prevent excessive pressure buildup. Question 5. True or false? The air storage tanks should be drained daily to remove moisture and oil. Answer. True. Draining prevents contamination and ensures the system works efficiently. Question 6. The brake pedal in an air brake system controls. A. The air pressure applied to put the brakes on. B the amount of fuel entering the engine. C. The air pressure in the tires. Answer. A. The air pressure applied to put the brakes on. Question 7. If the low air pressure warning comes on, you should A. Continue driving until you reach your destination. B. Immediately pull over and safely stop. C. Increase your speed to generate more air pressure. Answer. B. Immediately pull over and safely stop. Low air pressure can lead to brake failure. Question 8. True or false? The lag distance in air brakes refers to the distance traveled from noticing a hazard to applying the brakes. Answer. False. Lag distance refers to the distance traveled from when the brakes are applied to when the vehicle actually starts to slow down. Question 9. The foundation brakes are located. A. At each wheel. B. Only on the front wheels. C. Only on the rear wheels. Answer. A. At each wheel. These are the brakes where the force of braking is applied. Question 10. True or false. In an air brake system, brakes are applied by air pressure and released by springs. Answer. True. When air pressure is applied, the brakes engage, and when it's released, springs pull the brakes away. Question 11. The supply pressure gauge shows A. The amount of air pressure available to stop the vehicle. B. The speed of the vehicle. C. The temperature of the engine. Answer. A. The amount of air pressure available to stop the vehicle. Question 12. True or false? If the air pressure drops too low, the spring brakes will come on automatically. Answer. True. This is a safety feature to prevent driving without adequate braking power. Question 13. The brake drums or discs are located. A. Inside the air compressor. B. At each wheel. C. In the engine compartment. Answer. B. At each wheel. They are part of the foundation brake system. Question 14. True or false? This cam forces the brake shoes away from one another to press them against the inside of the brake drum. Answer. True. This city cam rotates to push the brake shoes out. Question 15. The modulating control valve allows the driver to A. Control the speed of the air compressor. B. Gradually apply the spring brakes. C. Release all air from the system. Answer. B. 
gradually apply the spring brakes. It's used in emergencies when the service brakes aren't working. Question 16. True or false? The air tank drain valve should be left open at all times. Answer. False. It should be closed after draining to ensure the system can build pressure. Question 17. Dual air brake systems. A. Have two separate air tanks and can operate with only one. B. Are only found on passenger vehicles. C. Use twice as much air as single systems. Answer. A. Have two separate air tanks and can operate with only one. This provides redundancy for safety. Question 18. True or false? If the air compressor is belt-driven and the belt is loose or broken, you won't have any air pressure. Answer. True. The compressor won't function without the belt. Question 19. The application pressure gauge shows. A. The total air pressure in the system. B. The air pressure being applied to the brakes. C. The pressure in the air storage tanks. Answer. B. The air pressure being applied to the brakes. Question 20. True or false? In cold weather, air brakes can freeze if there's water in the system. Answer. True. This is why it's crucial to drain the tanks daily. Question 21. The one-way check valve. A. Allows air to flow in both directions. B. Releases air from the tanks. C. Allows air to flow into the tanks but not back out. Answer. C. Allows air to flow into the tanks but not back out. Question 22. True or false? The brake shoe carries the brake lining, which presses against the brake drum to slow or stop the vehicle. Answer. True. The lining creates friction against the drum. Question 23. The slack adjuster. A. Drains water from the air tanks. B. Adjusts the brakes when the brake pedal is pressed. C. Connects the brake chamber to this cam. Answer. C. Connects the brake chamber to this cam. Question 24. True or false? The air pressure in the system should build from 50 to 90 psi within 3 minutes. Answer. True. This ensures the compressor is working efficiently. Question 25. The stoplight switch. A. Turns on the brake lights when the brake pedal is pressed. B. Indicates a problem with the brake system. C. Releases air from the system. Answer. A. Turns on the brake lights when the brake pedal is pressed. Question 26. True or false? The supply pressure gauge should be checked before driving to ensure there's enough air pressure. Answer. True. This ensures the brakes will work properly. Question 27. The brake pedal in an air brake system. A. Releases air from the system. B. Controls the throttle. C. Controls the air pressure applied to the brakes. Answer. C. Controls the air pressure applied to the brakes. Question 28. True or false? If the low air pressure warning light comes on, you should immediately pull over and stop. Answer. True. Low air pressure can lead to brake failure. Question 29. The safety relief valve. A. Drains water from the air tanks. B. Releases air to prevent the tanks from overpressurizing. C. Controls the throttle. Answer. B. Releases air to prevent the tanks from overpressurizing. Question 30. True or false? The air compressor should cut out at about 125 PSI and cut in at about 100 PSI. Answer. True. This maintains the air pressure within a safe range. Question 31. The brake lining. A. Is made of metal and creates friction with the brake drum. B. Is made of soft material and presses against the brake drum to create friction. C. Releases air from the system. 
Answer B. Is made of soft material and presses against the brake drum to create friction. Question 32. True or false? The brake drums or discs dissipate the heat created during braking. Answer. True. They help prevent the brakes from overheating. Question 33. The brake chamber. A. Stores compressed air. B. Converts air pressure into mechanical force. C. Drains water from the system. Answer. B. Converts air pressure into mechanical force. Question 34. True or false. The parking brake should be tested while the vehicle is moving. Answer. False. It's unsafe and can damage the brakes. Question 35. The tractor protection valve. A. Protects the tractor's air supply in case of a trailer breakaway. B. Drains water from the air tanks. C. Controls the throttle. Answer. A. Protects the tractor's air supply in case of a trailer breakaway. Question 36. True or false? The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes applied should be no more than 3 psi in one minute. Answer. True. This ensures the system isn't leaking excessively. Question 37. The brake fade. A. Is when the brakes become less effective due to overheating. B. Is when the brakes release too quickly. C is when the brakes apply unevenly. Answer. A. Is when the brakes become less effective due to overheating. Question 38. True or false. The air dryer removes moisture and oil from the compressed air before it enters the air tanks. Answer. True. This prevents contamination and freezing in cold weather. Question 39. The service brake system. A. Is used for regular stops. B. Is used only in emergencies. C. Drains water from the air tanks. Answer. A. Is used for regular stops. Question 40. True or false? The air storage tanks should be drained daily to remove moisture and contaminants. Answer. True. This ensures the system works efficiently. Question 41. The brake shoes and linings. A. Are located inside the brake chamber. B. Press against the brake drum or disc to slow or stop the vehicle. C. Store compressed air. Answer. B. Press against the brake drum or disc to slow or stop the vehicle. Question 42. True or false? The air compressor governor controls when the air compressor will pump air into the air storage tanks. Answer. True. It maintains the air pressure within a safe range. Question 43. The front brake limiting valve. A. Is used to adjust the air pressure to the front brakes during slippery conditions. B. Drains water from the air tanks. C. Controls the throttle. Answer. A. Is used to adjust the air pressure to the front brakes during slippery conditions. Question 44. True or false? The brake system should be inspected at least once a week. Answer. False. It should be inspected daily before driving. Question 45. The alcohol evaporator. A. Adds alcohol to the air system to reduce the risk of ice. B. Drains water from the air tanks. C. Controls the throttle. Answer. A. Adds alcohol to the air system to reduce the risk of ice. Question 46. True or false? The air pressure in the system should build from 85 to 100 psi within 45 seconds. Answer. True. This ensures the compressor is working efficiently. Question 47. This cam. A. Drains water from the air tanks. B. Controls the throttle. C. Turns the slack adjuster to apply the brakes. Answer. C. Turns the slack adjuster to apply the brakes. Question 48. 
True or false? The service brakes are used for normal stops. Answer. True. They are controlled by the brake pedal. Question 49. The wedge brakes. A. Use a wedge to push the brake shoes apart. B. Are only found on older vehicles. C. Both A and B. Answer. C. Both A and B. They are less common than scam brakes. Question 50. True or false? The spring brakes are used for parking and emergencies. Answer. True. They come on automatically if the air pressure drops too low.